Welcome to the spoken tutorial on create patterns in Inkscape. In this tutorial, we will learn to create patterns using cloning, pattern along path, spray tool and path effect editor. To record this tutorial, I am using Ubuntu Linux 12.04 OS, Inkscape version 0.48.4. Let us open Inkscape. Click on the star tool and draw a star in the canvas. Now click on the selector tool. On the tool controls bar, change the width and height parameters to 40. Zoom in and click on the star once. Observe that the pivot point is visible now. It's the plus shape in the center of the star object. Click and move the pivot point far away from the star as demonstrated here. Now. Go to edit menu, click on clone and then on create tiled clones. A new dialog box opens up. You can find many tabs and many options under each tab. Under symmetry tab, we can see a drop down menu with various methods. For this demo, we will keep the option simple translation. Change the rows and columns parameters to 1 and 40 respectively. Next, go to Shift tab. Change the percentage of Shift X parameter and a per column to minus 100 as shown here. Next, let us go to Rotation tab. Change the angle under per column to 10. Now, click on Create button. Observe a circle pattern is formed with the star. Likewise, you can use the other options under Create Tiled Clones to make many beautiful patterns. Let us move the star circle aside. Next, we will learn how to create a pattern along a path. Select rectangle tool and draw a rounded rectangle. Color it green. Then click on the selector tool. On the tool controls bar, change the width to 540 and the height to 250. Next, Draw a star pattern using the star tool. Click on the selector tool. On the tool controls bar, change the width and height to 50. Place it on the top left border of the rectangle. Select both the shapes. Go to extensions menu. Click on generate from path and then on pattern along path. Change the copies of the patterns option to repeater and the deformation type option to ribbon. Click on apply button and close button. Observe a beautiful pattern is formed around border of the rectangle. Let us now create another pattern using path effects. Select Bezier tool and draw a wavy path. Go to path menu. Click on path effects editor. A dialog box opens up. Click on Apply New Effect drop down menu. Notice there are various effects listed here. Let me select Gears and then click on Add. Observe the change in the shape. Next, select Sketch and click on Add button. Observe the effect. In the Path Effect Editor, you can find various parameters related to the current effect. Let us change one of them, say strokes. Let us change it to 10 and press enter. Observe the change on the object. Now close the path effect editor dialog box. Select all the shapes and move it to one side. Next, we will learn to create a tree pattern using spray tool. Select Bezier tool, draw a tree trunk as demonstrated. and color it brown. Now draw a leaf and color it green. Select spray tool and click on the leaf shape. Now without releasing the mouse, drag around the trunk to create a tree. Observe a tree shape is formed. That's all for this tutorial. Let us summarize. In this tutorial, 
we have learned to create patterns using cloning, pattern along path, spray tool and path effect editor. As an assignment, create a round and colorful pattern. Your completed assignment should look like this. The video available at the following link summarizes the spoken tutorial project. Please watch it. The spoken tutorial project team conducts workshops and gives certificates for those who pass an online test. For more details, please write to us. Spoken Tutorial Project is supported by the NME ICT MHRD Government of India. More information on this mission is available at this link. We have come to the end of this tutorial. This is Aarti and Saurabh from IIT Bombay signing off. Thanks for joining.